Hi everyone, Emma here. I'm so excited to show you some new goodies from AliExpress. So um, these are class, some of them are repeats from the previous one and then I added a few but I also wanted to talk to you about foldover class. I like foldover class. I like the way they look on the bracelets but um, sometimes they are difficult to open up. So uh, Jerry uh, sent me a message asking if I could uh, show some like technique on how to open them. So we'll do that, but first we're going to open up these guys. <laughs> so the first thing I ordered, this was $5.60, and I'll tell you, I have to uh, say, I put it in my cart, took it out, put it in my cart, took it out. I'm sure you guys do that a lot too, kind of trying to decide. The picture for it looked a lot bigger than these little things. Um, I thought they were quite large uh, stones and I didn't check the measurement and you know what I do so much shopping I used to check everything I have rulers you know by the couch downstairs if I'm looking at stuff I always check the measurement but for this one I didn't um, so I did feel like it was a bit expensive for what it was so let me just open that up and we'll get rid of that now. I don't need a reminder that I spent that much money on it. I'm so cheap. <laughs> so let's take a look here at what these guys are. We'll enlarge it. I'll move these guys off. So let's enlarge this. So these, there's four of them. One's set aside and I'll show you what I did with it. They are like a cup chain and they're gold color, so they're not even gold plated. Um, the idea was to take and put those bolo extender clasps on them and just this to create a bracelet. Let me expose my wrist here so you can get an idea and this will give you an idea how small it is now the length and it could be that i looked at the length and thought oh the length is perfect for my wrist so you can see but you can see how super tiny this is ridiculous and then there's a loop on each end and you know you could essentially do this with a cup piece of cup chain and and somehow attach a loop to it so that you could attach it so there was four of them at five twenty five. What did I figure? That's uh four dollars and thirty five cents. Or sorry, a dollar thirty five each, which isn't too bad for a bracelet um component, but it's a bit ridiculous how tiny that is. So let me show you. I did attach it to one of these lovely bolo extender chains from uh, our class from BB craft so all I did was I my uh, chain had an open jump ring so I just attached it directly it does look really lovely as a bracelet and I actually wore it for a while now I have to say I have super small hands a six inch hand so this kind of rolls over anything smaller than this would be um, way too small so now you could put two of them together or add some beads on the side now I have to funny thing is I was at my doctor's the other day and she had a bracelet that almost it was almost identical to this super super tiny with the extender chain like that so you know you can use this stack it with other stuff but again Every once in a while, I will make a purchase on AliExpress and it's like I forget to check the measurement or it's just not the quality that I was expecting. Now, normally I do a uh, dispute and I do have a video showing how to do the dispute. Um, I feel like this is my fault for not checking the measurement. Um, I might take a look at the picture again to see 
how accurate it is and do this just came last week so I can still do a dispute you know I have to say about AliExpress there's a few things that they encourage you to do that I highly recommend you don't do so the first thing is when you get your stuff do not go through your items on your account and say you've uh, received them because they close the account then so when you if you like a week later you go to look at something and it's broken or you can't open it or whatever then your your time frame your return time frame is eliminated so don't ever go back and the other thing is they have your money <laughs> you bought the stuff why are you working for them by clicking that you received it like that to me makes no sense no other company does that in the times that I've done it like long long time ago I may have done it and I realized quickly that that closes the refund uh, window so don't do that the other thing I say don't ever do is don't contact the seller just do a dispute directly on your account through AliExpress it's a what they call a bot it's a computer and it will issue a refund directly to your payment so definitely take a look at that video if you're planning on shopping there I would not shop without checking these things out first um, it is very confusing and it's done intentionally to get you to buy things that may not be the best or to you know uh, yeah, like it's unfortunate a lot of companies are doing things like that. So, you know, just uh, if you have any questions, let me know because I, I have a lot of experience with it and I really don't want people to get ripped off. So the next one, we're moving right along. <laughs> That's enough of that. I hate being negative. So this one here is a reorder and it was uh, 519 for two of them and these are box class and they are stunning i'm just thinking uh, da, da. i have a bunch of um bracelet project bins i'm getting ready to do for kath from england and this is one of them that i'm gonna attach to a bracelet that's a similar bracelet that i've done before and i'm gonna use some like ruby red rivalies for the bracelet but it will go really well with these box class so this has two holes there and you can see from the back it has two holes there on this foot piece and these are pretty easy to open they uh, there is a little bit of uh, wiggling finagling and I I should say too it, it's easier to get your class open once they're on a bracelet trying to open them without it is super difficult but we are going to do that later and i'll show you little tricks to do that so the next one here these were reorders these were let me i have one of them marked here this one so this was from doc two store and let me bring this down Doc two store and um, these were a dollar thirty seven. So this is a really good deal on really nice class. And these are foldovers as well. I usually undo these before the video. I forgot all about it because <laughs> they're hard to uh, open. I'm sh sure a lot of us have issues with opening things. So these are lovely. And like I said, I'm getting ready to do some bracelets. Now, looking at this, I didn't realize this. If you look at this, this bar is off on an angle. So we'll have to pay attention to that when we're attaching it to a bracelet I just noticed it here because you can really see the bar there but 
That's interesting. Uh, usually the bar is attached. So. Okay, so it's. Okay, I see the way they've got it. So the, the bar on one side should be attached, and it's really hard to see that. See that round? Where's my little pointer? This area here, there's like a bar there, and I'll show it to you when I open it so you can see the bar. So it's attached to this piece, so it's not going anywhere. And that's good because once we open this clasp, this piece will come off because, of course, it's attached to the other side of the bracelet. But you don't want this one coming off. And I have to say, I have had them come off. Now, I'm not used to the fold over section being on that side, but I guess it is. It might be just my. So you can see this is like super smooth. It's hard to even get my nail underneath that to open it. So it's really um, hard to open these. And you should absolutely um, check every one of them. There, that's open and you can see. So you can see it's kind of stuck in that position. It should open all the way. So I would just inspect everything. Check that piece here. Check that that loop is closed so that this piece doesn't fall off and just kind of wiggle it back and forth to get it. I think sometimes it's the finish that's um, causing it not to move properly. And then sometimes what you can do is you can squeeze this little circle so that this piece here just clicks in right now it's clicking all the way down and that's why it's super hard let me put the other piece on and I'll show you what I mean so put that on and so if you look at the bottom so it's it's clicking into this position here so if you squeeze that little circle a bit, it'll give this, free this up a little space. You can also just move this out slightly. But uh, so we'll, uh, I'll show you exactly with the next sets because um, definitely the silver is hard to see on camera. So let's open the gold ones, might be easier. And I'm going to talk about another thing to do to help you adjust your class. So I'm a little disorganized this morning. I hope you don't mind. It's Saturday morning, it's housekeeping, it's uh, tax time. So there's a, there's a whole lot going on in this house. So look at how beautiful these guys are. I haven't had a chance to show you these finished, but wait till you see when I... So there you can see that opening. And let's see, this one seems... Let's cross our fingers. This one seems a little easier. Look at that. That one opened. So that's clear that the shape of that circle is a little flattened there. So now you have to be careful not to adjust it too much because sometimes it will prevent it from closing or it won't stay closed. So I try to keep them in the position that they are because they, you know that they close once we start messing with it. So you might want to just bend that a little bit. But that, oh my gosh, it's beautiful. These are lovely. Okay, so let's go to the next ones from the Doc2 store. So the, let me get these prices because I will forget. Because there's a couple of different ones in here. So again, these were the 
137, another one for 137. So I'm planning on putting, making a whole bunch of bracelets. There's the other one and the other one. And I have to go through and test these all. I would also look to make sure all the crystals are in. Um, again, I've found some that the crystals fallen out. So you can do a dispute and get your money back. These two were uh, $1.37 as well. And these are super popular. I use them a lot. They used to be like 50 cents each, but the price of the everything has gone up at least double, if not more. So part of the problem with some of these is the fold over part doesn't have a lot of space in the whatever the, the design element is. So you have to pay attention. If it looks too close, you might want to skip buying that one. Um, I have a few that I can't use at all. They're just, and I'm going to show you one that's pretty bad. So it's, that one opened really nicely, easily. Let's try this one. Just so that one's super hard to open. And I have like chips in my nail from using it. Okay, put those there. These were the other ones. So I stay away from like the um, toggle class. They are super beautiful. Um, I used to use them all the time. And then when I got into these fold over class and these really gorgeous crystals and stuff I kind of got away from it but these are extraordinary unbelievable so let's test the bar in this one here I don't want to open the jump ring so these ones were $2.94 so three dollars each they're a little more expensive oh yeah that's Perfect. Let's turn that there. That oh my gosh, these are amazing. They are so pretty. I'm gonna fix my light here. Sorry about that. Look at that. They are lovely. Let's put those there. Let's get to the next ones. These here um, from Wonderful Jewelry Store. These were $2.53 each, and these are really very blingy, which is right up my alley. Oh my gosh. <laughs> these. Oh, what? Oh, these are amazing. These are super cool. So... They have these bars here. I prefer, uh, let me see if I can show you, like this type of thing where they have bars every so often. Um, because, you know, this only gives you one, really, it only gives you one space because you're not going to wrap your thread around the corner here. So I guess you could wrap it from the bottom to the upper piece. No, I'm just, okay, these are not very, this is, um, let me open it and show you the dealio. So this is hard to open too. Huh. Oh, this is really hard. Let me show you this mechanism. So normally it's a loop that goes over a circle. This is a bar right here, right there. And it's pushed up against. So normally what I would suggest, if you can't get a, a uh, fold over clasp open, is to take both sides and twist and it will pop open. But because this is part of the bracelet, 
So if you were to do it with this, it's not a big deal. It's that little bar that you're going to twist. You still like that's pretty narrow, that little bar. You don't want to bend that. But if worse got to worse and you had to, you could pop it open that way. So this is um, interesting. Let me see. The other way is to use your pliers, put them inside and then there, pop it open. So these bars are kind of useless. And I'll tell you why, there should be holes on this side so that your needle can go through. So if you're threading it, you put it through, you can't like, unless you have a, a U-shaped needle to go under and up, kind of like when they do sutures. So this is kind of messed up. That's really weird. So how on earth are you going to attach that? Let me get some, um, I have a, I'm sure I have something threaded right here to test it out with. Of course, I, I've been purposely not leaving um, needles threaded because my cat, he's not allowed in my office anymore, but in case he is, in my office I don't want them to uh, I'll just use a needle to show you what I'm talking about so you're gonna attach your work there's nowhere for your needle to go like you'd have to bend your needle I guess you could bend these prongs out a bit but I'd be worried it would break or that you know the crystals would come out because of it so normally something like this has holes on this side for your needle to come through. Let me see if I have one to show you. I have one here, but this just attaches. This is not friendship. Okay, I think this one has one. Yes. I can't believe. I had to go through all that stuff to find. So you're going to attach something to here. You go in, you can see there's two holes there. So you can actually get your needle. You can pass your needle through the one hole and it comes through on the other side like that. So this does not have that at all. I have no clue how you're supposed to do that. You're supposed to take it off the needle. If you have an idea about this, let me know because that's this to me is a a reason to do a dispute because there's no way to use it. So it's lovely, but I don't want to start attaching jump rings to that. That's going to look ridiculous. Bummer. And it's the same on both sides. Okay. Now I'm going to cry. Emma's crying over bits. There's the silver ones. They're so beautiful. Like, I can totally see a beautiful, like, peyote stitched, you know, cuff. 
attaching to these or some pearls dump two two rows of pearls and have this as the element at the front of your bracelet okay let's move on that's very sad so this one was a dollar 34 so i tried to find the least expensive thing and the that was nice looking so these are super nice oh and they're really nicely they're nice and tiny so sometimes you know even something like this is too big so this is really nice now the other thing i noticed on this one too that was different is it has three areas here for say jump rings if you want to attach but it still has those little bars on the inside to weave your thread if you wanted to and then this side has them as well so these are these are really nice i only got two and that was nice and easy to open i only got two thinking you know i'm not sure like it's kind of a different design but once i got them they're stunning and can you imagine this on a bracelet that would just totally bling out your bracelet they only had silver. I had to check that. I'm pretty sure they only had silver on those. So the last one, these were super amazing. These were $1.65 and kicking myself. These were so different than anything I've seen that at first I was like, oh, I don't know if I didn't want it. And I, that last order, I didn't order it. And then I was like, no, I'm going to order, you know, two of each. And now I'm like, why didn't I order more? These are so amazing. Look at it. It's flowers. And it's 3D flowers. So they have like the crystals. And then these little petals in front that's like a rounded tube. And then the gorgeous fold over clasp. This is what it looks on the back. And they have holes all the way around so if you want to stitch it right into your bracelet like this on each side you can bring your thread through all the little holes easy access for your needle so let's see how so that one just doesn't have a lip at all so let's see if we can get that open and this one's going to be hard to open. So here's another way to so bring this one up. And then try and pull it away. But it might be easier to just do the twist method. It's not, I, I highly recommend you don't do this. Because you're going to damage your crystals. So let's try. I've got some, um, these are needle nose pliers, they call them. So get your tool in there and do a little twist. It's, it's opening now. There. So you might be able to adjust this area here or this area here. But these are. So sometimes they're a bit hard to get this piece off. So let me see if I need to open it a little more. Uh, so you kind of have to tw go on the side to get that. See this, this is an issue if you're, this is a bracelet on your wrist, you're never going to get this off. Okay, so make sure that that piece is, we may have to squeeze this on here. This was supposed to be a kind of helpful video. <laughs> Does it not look like more work than it's worth? No. Okay, what is 
the problem here. I'm wondering if I need to keep it closed. Oh, look, Emma. So you got to keep it semi-closed like that, then bring that over. And then, so I was making it harder than it needed to be. These are gorgeous. I'm glad they work. So just close that up. Let's take a look at the silver ones. Again, they're very special. They're lovely. These are so amazing. So there's the <laughs> the fun stuff, the blingy stuff. Let's um take a look at Foldover Class 101. Uh, I maybe I shouldn't call it 101 because oh look, I knew this was gonna happen. That looks like a crystal from something. And it looks like a broken crystal. Now, I did find this container that had these beads in it had some loose crystals. And I checked. Every crystal was intact. Oh, this last one looks like it's... Nope, it's there. So let's take a look at these ones. These are all there. Those are all there. They're all there. I wonder if something chipped on one of these. Because this actually looks like a, a chip from something. That one looks fine. I'm gonna, this one's missing. Yep. Yep, that's, that's what that is. So, oh, that's a shame. I have to do a dispute on this, this one that doesn't work. Shucks. <laughs> Yeah, that's what it was. Wow. Okay, I'm going to put that one aside. And which one was it? This one? Yeah. No. Anyway, I'll find it. Okay, yeah. So I don't want, you know, I, I wanted this to be a helpful video, but <laughs> it's starting to seem like it's trouble. So here's a fold over style. And I just did for... Jerry's sake I pulled out these two because she did send me a picture of the class that she bought so she had one like this actually she had two styles of this one had like the bigger circle and then these here these are ones that I really like as well um, these are great for men's bracelets they're kind of sleek looking um, yeah so let's go through each of them this one here is a problem and if you can tell the problem is this element here is too small for your foldovers and this has two foldovers so sometimes when you open them you can't get the second like you can't get this piece through the circle or you can't get them to lay flat like that so that it looks nice on your bracelet I have one it was a silver one like this and the the second piece was like off to the side and really hard so let's see if we can get this one open so here's the first thing you do need to test these so you're going to course test them before you put them on a bracelet but it's super hard to do it without it being attached to something. So just remember that some of these will be so much easier to open when they're on, a, on an actual bracelet. But you have to remember too, if you're putting strain on anything past the open, the uh, fold over, you don't want strain being put on your beads or on your thread so 
as long as it's just adding something for you to hold on to, to it, because otherwise you're just kind of holding on to this little piece. So that's what I'm trying to get at. So you can see this is like super hard to get out. like this on a bracelet I don't know how this is going to work you know what I mean because by now the bracelet part is over here like this is absolutely super super frustrating okay I was able to open it a little more but again so you might have to push this one up to get this one out that to me is just you're not going to want to wear the bracelet. It's so hard to put on and take off. So I think I have taken these guys and just used this. And I have a bunch of these little pieces left over because they're just uh, hard to use. So that, you know, can be a problem. I can't get it together <laughs> there we go let's put that one aside so this one again these are pretty well made but again loose like this and testing them out for your uh, you know your account so that you make sure because if you cannot open your clasp at all and I had some they were fish uh, lobster claw bracelets and this the that little thing that you pull to open they were like uh, welded on so there was about 10 out of a 51 50 package that I couldn't use at all so I had to do a dispute and of course I didn't think of it till after when I started coming across a bunch of them that weren't working so this one's these are super easy to do. Now, if you do have a problem getting these open, you can try the twist method. So these are pretty sturdy. Now, I don't know. Yeah, that's not going to work on these. So I would definitely use your pliers. So let's talk about that. When you're using your pliers on a clasp, you have to be careful not to scratch it. Um, this one here looks like there's very little space, so I couldn't actually get my tool in there to open it. Okay. Now you can maybe take your bead reamer like this and get it in there and then try and open it that way. And again, you're going to be careful not to scratch it. If you scratch it on the inside, it's not too, too bad, but you still don't want to do that either. So there's that way. Now, to avoid scratching, what you should do is put some rubber on your tools. So I haven't done this in a long time. So it's time for me to do this. You can see this stuff will peel off over time. It's just like a rubber cement and you can buy it from Michaels. This is what it looks like. It's called tool magic and um, just be aware that it is super strong smelling like a, like a, glue cement kind of smell that really strong chemical smell I would highly recommend you use this by a window or wear a mask or just very quickly use it and close it up it's super super strong so let me show you what it looks like inside this is about ten dollars at Michael's so if you have a coupon you can get a better deal so this is what it looks like and sometimes it's like separated there's a clear liquid and like an I'm going to close that and a white it smells like a nail polish or nail polish remover times a hundred <laughs> so um, 
yeah, sometimes it's a bit separate, not a big deal. I just take one of these lollipop sticks or a toothpick and just stir it up and get it ready. So then you take your tool, I dip it right in the container, dip it in, and then make sure you have some place to stand up your tools for them to dry for 24 hours. I did it once where it felt dry and it, it pretty much was dry, but then when I went to use it, it just peeled the whole thing off. So it hadn't really glued to the metal. So, um, so yeah, I redid it and you can see it's, it does a pretty good thickness on your tools. I'll show you another one. Um, I think when I got this like probably four years ago, it was probably thinner when I got it, but over time it dries out a bit. But like I said, once you stir it, it's fine. Um, so this one was a little thinner again, but um, yeah, let it dry t over 24 hours. Then you can use your tools and not worry about it scratching your clasps. So then let's take a look at this one. If it, if you were, say, doing something like this and there's no place to put your tool, if you had something your tool was more like this one, I guess, you could actually, and if this was coated, I wouldn't do it without it being coated. So then you can actually do that and open it. Um, yeah, I highly recommend you get the, the tool magic for your tools. Uh, so many times like doing um, bead caps, they get scratched up or, you know, your hand slips and your tool scratches stuff. So here's another one fold over like this. This one's really nice. There's lots of space for things. There's the a nice big lip to open. So it just and super easy. So you can see this one here, this loop here is super thin. So you could actually compress it or make it rounder to get this to maybe hold on a little harder. But I think if you can get it to open without too much trouble, I wouldn't mess with that little. I've I've done a few and it's a pain in the butt because if you do it too much, then you can't get this closed. So there's that one. So here's another fold over clasp. And let's see. Super easy. So you see what I mean? Once you have something to hold on to in your hands, and I always secure with my thumb the other piece of the class along with the bracelet like that. So then you got something to grab onto to open. If you're still having problems, again, you might want to take your bead reamer and just pop it like that. If none of these things work for you, then you need to Think about what kind of class you can use that's easier on your hands or that people you're making your bracelets for can use them. Um, I think, you know, at my age now and the problems I have with my hands, I just get my wife to help me put it on and take it off. There's no point trying to fiddle with stuff that's too small, so... This one opened pretty easy. So this one could be an issue. See how small the opening is for this? So, but pretty good. So these little uh, infinity knot ones work really well. There's another one. This is a silver one. Let's see how hard this one is to open. That's pretty good. And comes out like that. So I hope that was somewhat helpful. Here's the last one. So this one here, again, it has a bigger opening here. 
for this to come out. So super dainty, tiny. These look amazing. So let me see. It'll depend sometimes on the seller how well they open and close. But definitely test out your class and um, do a dispute directly through AliExpress. Don't waste your time with talking to the seller. The seller will say, oh, you have to send it back, which you don't. You never have to send it back. Um, yeah, take a look at that video. It's uh, so worth it. So thank you for joining me, and I hope this was helpful. If you have any more questions about stuff like this, let me know. I have no problem showing you how to, uh, you know, make things work and get the better deals and stuff like that. You, you don't want to spend a whole you know what I I spend the money so you don't have to so if I buy something that doesn't work like these class it's like well then you know and maybe you have an idea for this that would work just let me know that would be awesome so there we go take care everybody we'll see you in the next video bye